Hey friends, welcome back. This is block number seven. We're going to be doing the ribbing stitch today. Um, you'll also basically be learning the technique for front loop, back loop instructions. So I have 29 stitches ready to go. We're going to be doing mostly single crochet today. Not even mostly, we just are. So I'm skipping that first stitch. It's a little tight, but that's okay. And I'm inserting into the second stitch from the hook. So you're going to push through, yarn over, pull down to anchor, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, just doing that one time means you've done your single crochet. Go ahead and do 28 single crochets all the way down. And I will meet you guys at this other side when we'll learn how to turn and move on with our pattern. See you then. Here I am at stitch 27. Here we go with 28. As a quick reminder, I've started inserting a bobby pin in my first stitch of each row just to use as a stitch marker. So make sure you're doing that and you're mindful of that. Otherwise, you just have to count your 28 stitches each time. Um, that's really important that we have the right counts. So for row two, start off with just one chain. And here's where we get into the pattern. So there's a technique called front loop, which is where you only insert into the front loop. So it would look like this. Oops. <laughs> Here we go. It would look like that. So you'll notice the back half of the loop is untouched. Our normal stitches go through both. And today we are only going to do back loop. So insert into that back loop and execute a normal single crochet. You're going to keep doing the back loop all the way down your row. So you'll have 28 stitches there. Um, and what you'll start to notice as you build a little bit of a row is that you have a bit of a, um, like a bump left on each front of your stitches. So that little bump is the front loop that you're not capturing in your stitch anymore. That's going to help to create the ribbed texture as we continue to zigzag through these loops. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and leave you to it. I will catch you at the end of row two and we'll get started on row three together. I'm coming up at the end of row two. So there we go, and here's my marker. So I'm also going to go into that last stitch. Go ahead and remove it. Great. So turn this like a book, just like normal. Chain one. And just like before, we're going to do the back loop across the whole row. This entire block, you're just gonna stick to the back loop. Even though you know that front loop technique now, just keep doing this back loop so that we're always pushing that little bump of the front loop forward. Um, in a moment, I'll show you, hopefully we can start to see it three rows in. Uh, we'll go ahead and try to show you what this pattern is gonna start to look like. Here we go. So you can start to see where we have texture getting pushed different directions and it's gonna be creating this cool ribbing effect. You can use this on the rim of uh, beanies. You can use this for all different things. Um, one random note, you'll see I have this beautiful new hook. Um, it says that this is an H, but when I sized it up, it's actually the same measurement across as my traditional J-hook. So don't be fooled. I will put that in the notes. All right, guys. Well, I will see you at the end of this block. Just make sure you're sticking to the back loop. Um, and then, as always, we will measure this corner to corner to make sure we are done. So I will see you here in a little bit. Alrighty, friends. Welcome back. So we should have this nice big square, you were using the back loop only. 
as you were going through on that single crochet. And by alternating that, you should have, <laughs> you should have this uh, really nice ribbed texture here. It's nice and squishy, nice and flexible. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, so measuring up from my bottom corner up till now, I can tell that I've reached, here we go, a good corner all the way to corner length. So here's my square. I'm going to go ahead and border this off doing 28 with my three in the corners and set that on my blocking board. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.